Hello there. The Brexiteer Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson has warned Theresa May that the NHS must be given a Brexit dividend to keep Jeremy Corbyn's hands off of the levers of power. Not only has Boris Johnson said that the claim on the side of the Brexit battle bus that the UK sends £350 million every week to the EU was actually too low, he has also said that the NHS must see some of that money. Earlier this week, Boris said that the Leave side grossly underestimated the size of the UK contribution to the EU when it quoted the £350 million a week figure, as the weekly cost will rise to £438 million a week by the end of a post-Brexit transition period. He also said that, as and when the cash becomes available, and it won't until we leave, the NHS should be at the very top of the list. He is now saying that the Tories need to pledge to earmark an extra £100 million a week or £5.2 billion a year from the money saved to go into the NHS. And one of his supporters told The Telegraph, Boris thinks that for the Tories to beat Corbyn, it is fundamental that the government delivers on NHS funding and he will continue to make this argument until it happens. And added, This isn't about the referendum. It's about listening to the public's priorities and beating Corbyn. Colleagues should move on from the referendum debate and start to focus on the future. The threats to stop or water down the EU withdrawal bill going through the House of Commons melted away yesterday when the Tory rebels decided to get behind the Prime Minister and voted down opposition and Remainer attempts to amend the bill. And writing in The Telegraph, Brexit Minister Steve Baker said that the government had been listening to all sides and tabling its own amendments to the withdrawal bill to ensure that it could not be seen as a government power grab of Henry VIII's powers, but a proper exercise in ensuring legal continuity post-Brexit. Something, he said, he hoped politicians across the board could accept. And now we see that Mogmentum shows no signs of flagging. That ardent Brexiteer and favourite in some people's eyes to replace Theresa May as Tory party leader, Jacob Rees-Mogg, has been elected unopposed to head the influential Eurosceptic European Research Group, which is known for its hard stance on Brexit. This will give the MP for North East Somerset a new platform to influence Brexit. Conservative Party leadership next then. Five UK nationals are going to court in the Netherlands to establish their rights post-Brexit. The BBC reports that they want a Dutch judge to press the European Court of Justice to clarify their rights. The ECJ, if it decides to make a ruling, could guarantee such rights as freedom of movement after the UK leaves the European Union. Now, the interesting part of this is that this, if this gets to the ECJ and the ECJ makes a ruling, it would affect all UK nationals living in the EU. This means that it removes a bargaining chip from the EU Commission negotiators as they will have no say in what rights UK nationals living in the EU post-Brexit can or cannot enjoy. Those rights would no longer be a matter of political gift. EU law would continue to guarantee EU citizenship rights to those who are UK citizens at the date of Brexit. It would potentially weaken their position at the negotiating table, said British QC Joe Lyon Moham. After saying yesterday that he hoped that London was listening to the EU Council President Donald Tusk, saying the door to change our mind on Brexit was still open, Jean Claude Juncker has added that he is happy to facilitate the re entry of the UK into the EU via Article 49 after Brexit. That is probably why the EU and our Ramonas are now so keen on extending any transition period as far into the future as possible. 
The EU has stated that as far as it is concerned, there should be a transition period where the UK basically remains fully signed up to everything and paying all the bills. Brussels is also claiming that it will have to authorise the UK to continue enjoying the benefits of existing EU trade agreements with other countries. This, of course, is just a ploy to try and keep the EU controlling the UK economy while UK remoners try their damnedest to reverse the Brexit decision by whatever means they can muster. Firstly, we just need to say no and plan on exiting with no deal at all. That should be our overarching priority. That way there'll be no £40 billion to pay, no transition period and no continued free movement of people accruing rights to stay. Secondly, if a non-EU country allows us to trade with them under certain conditions, then that is between that country and the UK. Nothing to do with the EU. And thirdly, Having left the European Union, the UK would be extremely foolish to sign up to an EU now resolutely set on establishing unitary control of Europe and usurping all sovereignty for its own institutions. I cannot for one second see the British going for that one. Can you? So what do you think? Please leave a comment below. Thank you. Please do like and share this video and also subscribe to my channel and when subscribing please do remember to press on the little bell next to the subscribe button that way you'll get an alert every single time I put up a new video. Thank you very much for watching.